Excellent. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Tears in Tool Talk, a podcast that's dedicated to celebrating women who are showing up from within the hustle and bustle of everyday life to reconnect with their magic. I am so excited to have with you today my good friend, Betsy. Betsy, hello. Hi, Gina. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm excited. I really am. So And you know how we start the show, don't you? Oh, yes, I do. Do you know I go to this site often? <laughs> I love it. Even when especially then. Yes, um, that's exactly how we start the show. And for those of you who are just joining us for the first time today, we always have a tears and tool moment at the beginning of the show. And we do those a lot in the tears and tool family, the tears and tool community. And what those are is they're just a simple tears and tool moment. So we say something that we like about ourselves. We say something that's a tears moment and then we follow it with especially then. So I might say something like, I am smart even when I forget my computer password, especially then. So if you're listening from home or you're watching the YouTube video, feel free to play along with us. And I know that I asked you ahead of time, Betsy, what your moment might be. And I know we have a lot of them probably to come up throughout the day, but I'm curious what yours is right now. Well, right now it's, um, I am courageous and determined um, even when I feel shy and hesitant, especially Ooh. then. Especially then. I can so relate to that one. Thank you for sharing your heart. Yeah, it's it's like I had to, um, I always hid behind my pain and um, making me not realize what I could achieve and what I could accomplish. I always use that as an out. And this is amazing to me, to Tears and Tool, um, because it brought me out of that. It brought me out of that and I'm here showing up and I'm so excited. I love everything. I love book signings. I love the book. I love to color the book. I love to wear my skirt right here. Yes. It's all here. <laughs> so for anyone who doesn't know, Betsy and I were at a book signing last weekend and Betsy, you showed up in your beautiful skirt and <clears throat> Betsy has the coolest skirt because she keeps you keep adding to it um as you grow your skirt is growing and so if you've read tears and tool or you're following the movement in oh. any way you know but the skirt it it grows alongside the little girl in the story so seeing you with your skirt with more layers to it on Saturday was such a treat for me and I'm so thankful for the way that you're spreading this message in the world yeah. And I want to talk about you in that original skirt, too. <laughs> so. Oh, oh, wow. My skirt's like, wow. But, oh, that was amazing. Um, because I live close to you, um, which is crazy in itself, how, how would you think? I mean, so you brought the skirt to me. And... I didn't get it in a box, but whoa, I got you and I got the original skirt and it was huge. It was beautiful and you were beautiful presenting it to me. And I spent the night with it, looking at it. And I got up early, like today, five o'clock, I'm up and the skirt is just out there. I put it over my bed, I, I, the colors in the morning. It was just amazing. And I had to go do the photo shoot. So, like I said, being shy and, but I can be out there. Um, I, I it, it makes me so happy I can wear it just to go to the mailbox. And, and so the original one was even more than I ever expected. So we found the place in Crown Point with the angel wings. The angel wings, everybody who knows me, I have a million angels in my house. And I do believe I have angels all around me because right now I'm at the best time of my life. I made it, it's been 35 years and I'm here and I'm showing up. So that skirt going to the angel wings and you were just snapping, snapping, snapping. <laughs> 
And I'm just like, oh my goodness, Betsy, relax. But it was like, no, you can't relax. You you just keep going. And, and you are so patient and wonderful that you make you make the magic come out and you didn't make me feel nervous. Like I'm really nervous right now, but you made me feel so peaceful and at home. And, and after I wore that skirt and did that shoot, it was way different. It, it came, I knew I was very, um, happy with watching what you were doing when I was testing out the waters a little bit over a year ago and it was just all just great and and I finally jumped in and then it was like the skirt came home and you were like anybody who wants to wear it and I'm like yes I'm there I'm there so that was just perfect and and it made my heart it made it in my heart it made it in my head. It made it, it just made me so happy. And I feel so comfortable in this family. I feel like it is a family. That's yes, all. you you just posted that um, a couple of days ago, I think to oh, Facebook yes. and you were like welcoming someone, I think to the oh, family yes. maybe. Okay. And Tears and Tool really, I think is like a big family and there's tears and there's Tool and there's real things in life that are coming up. I was so impressed by your um, essay portion of, you know, you wearing the skirt and you sharing your story and you talking about your tears moments. And there was this moment out there in Crown Point by those angel wings where you were just twirling around and the color was moving and your blonde hair was just <laughs> flowing. And it, I, I mean, it was like a watching like this colorful land mermaid or something that was just you know oh, sharing her magic that's just beautiful a land mermaid because I was supposed to be a mermaid in my <laughs> life but I could be a land mermaid with a rainbow skirt and and yeah I am just super happy and and I love what it has done it opens up other doors other parts of the family, other websites that you have, women all of a sudden are around me. And I never, I don't know, my, my whole family can tell you, my doctor of 30 years can tell you, I would never accept help. I would never mm -hmm. su get support from women. They kept telling me and I couldn't do it. And I gave it a chance. And I'm just super happy. I'm just super happy. I love your family. I love you. I love this movement. I love what it does to me. I love how it opens me up. So I figure, why do I say I'm shy? I feel shy, but holy cow. It's like when I was there at the book signing, I can't wait till Saturday. We got another one. But it's like, I'm like a me, but a different me. And everybody responds and I love being nice to everyone and everyone's so nice and they say what they feel. So yes, you have been go, spreading. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, I said, I told you, Gina, I don't know. I can't do this. I don't think I can do this. And Alana goes to me today, mom, you talk about it always. <laughs> she goes, will you just relax? And you too telling me, and I feel now I do feel very at ease. I really thought I was going to be, you know how I can get. <laughs> I so, think yeah. your beautiful soul with the most amazing, colorful energy. And um, again, watching you walk up with those extra layers on your, your skirt on Saturday was, was amazing. And it reminded me of you going into the grocery store a few weeks back oh, and I would yes. love for you to share that story with people and maybe how it relates to your journey like how you've grown into this um you know this beautiful spirit that's sharing this color with others because you really do make it your own and I say that tears and tool is Thank all you. of us it's all this energy that comes together it so would is. you share with viewers and listeners uh, how that was for you well, I loved it. I thought, I don't feel shy going in the jewel. Um, I don't feel awkward. I feel normal. Um, what I wanted to do was to seek 
see people kind of how they acted, you know, I, I know how they act or uh, people really enjoy seeing something. So the skirt being so, it's just so full and colorful, like you said, and people, sometimes you never know what they're going through. I've learned that I've learned, you never know, even going into jewel, I, I did get some eyes turn away from me like, whoa, <laughs> but I did also get, um, you know, a compliment. I love your tool. And, and that's when I start. Once they say I love your tool and they're in with me, it's like, there I go. And I'm talking about tears and tool and I'm talking about happiness and I'm talking about positivity and, and it's just wonderful. It was the best trip to Jewel that, you know, and I met, ran into somebody I knew that was crazy too. It was like, whoa, this person didn't know that I did this, that I did what, that I had fun or, or I, he doesn't, it was like that my friends are all just noticing. So that's what I want to say. You know, it's such a positive thing. And, yes. and, and everybody is noticing and I'm, I'm still shy. <laughs> I'm like, go, oh, Betsy. <laughs> I, I you, we were, where were we? Oh, at a different book signing, you had brought the video in and you were like, oh, I stopped yeah. at the grocery store on the way here. And, and you had, I just want people who are listening or watching to just picture like, here's Betsy in this beautiful rainbow skirt of her own. And pops her camera on and on her phone and is is going through Jewel and is sharing this message of color and light and it's just it's just so beautiful to me because if we don't take up space in the world as women you know as we're yes. meant to, to be to do then you know how do we teach the next generation of girls or how do we teach different women in the world how to connect with their color and their creativity right. so I think that you're doing an amazing job um, oh. sharing this message. And I'm, I'm just so happy to be a part of your growth and you're helping me to grow. And it's kind of mm. just going back and forth in that, that kind of beautiful, synchronistic way. And, and, you know, ever since I got to meet you and talk to you and, and just, you know, text with you, it was just so perfect. It was like, golly, you just have too many similarities. Like I said, I grew up in Dyer. I grew up in Pheasant Hills. I grew up on Cherry Hill Road. My mom was 43 and, and um, because of uh, uh, mental illness in the family, um, it was like all of a sudden I met you and you were like in that same spot and, and it just was like we, we connected and and I was shy still, but I had to jump in because that's me. That is just me and I'm going to make everyone happy. If I can do it, I'm telling you, you, anybody can do it. Just think of your colors. You gave a class, a six week course. I always took what you did and I put more into it. The someday Sunday, I have glitter on my cherry and I've got scoops of ice cream and I love it. And you brought out, I wanted to go into the NICU unit and hold babies. And you made it possible for me to even even think about doing that because I would have never done that. I was, would never have. So hmm, that's it. It's like, oh my gosh. Yes. You were just sharing, you were just sharing about the babies on Saturday too. When I saw you and yeah, um, so much love, so much love you share to everyone. And, and I'm just here to receive and give it back and have fun. And that's it. So I'm thinking of one of my favorite um, Vincent Van Gogh quotes, and I probably, I'm not going to say this exactly right, but the quote goes, if you hear a voice from within you say, I cannot paint, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. And yeah, I just feel like the women in this movement, and including yourself, are continuing to show up and paint. You're continuing to show up in the world and it's one step one day at a time connect reconnecting with that color and just like the girl in the story in tears and tool you, you know, know i feel like that 
Because like you said, I did my skirt two times now. I added something to it. And like you said, like in the skirt, in the book, the skirt grows with you. And, and I can read that. Everybody can read it. But I had to get my own skirt from Amazon. So I had to have my own special skirt. And I added to it. And you noticed. And you were like, you are growing with your skirt. And I really didn't think of it. I know the book. I know I am. But when you said that, it was amazing. It was like, yes, you are right. Like the book. That's it. So Yes. I, and I would encourage anyone to follow that path, to follow your path, because, you know, you could, you could get a skirt on Amazon or from Etsy or wherever, or from Cass Young's, for goodness sakes. Yeah. Everyone go get, go oh. get skirts from Cass. She has oh. the designer ones. And, one day, um, one day. <laughs> yeah, she's busy making them. So yeah. just a shout out to her because she's amazing and just finish the cape and all that good stuff. But I would encourage others to add to those skirts. So you get the, you know, the colorful skirt, you pick it out. And then as you grow, you're adding all these, these beautiful, magical colors with the different experiences you have. I also you know, thought it was so incredibly brave of you to share your story that okay. accompanied your pictures. Did oh, you want to say anything you. about that? Well, and if you don't, it, that's okay too. No, no, no. It's not. It, so what I can say is when you asked me to write a bio, um, it took me a very long time to accept. I remember right now I'm like, why did you, why'd you do that? It was so easy. But when I had to do it, I thought it really sounded just pathetic. It, it just sounded like this, this sob story. And I really felt that way. I really felt like I was a burden and I really felt because 30 years of, of pain and, and, um, I have chronic pain and, and, and to accept it, I didn't accept it until recently and that I accepted it, I am free of it. Does that make sense? So I was not even able to accept it because I couldn't believe that you, my doctor's like, Betsy, you have pain. This is your issue. And it's like, oh no, it, this is worse than pain. Something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong. So 2018, I finally accepted it. So my daughter was getting married and I had to get better. I had to get off all kinds of medicines that, that I was on 25 years and that made me just, just not really care. And I had to do it. I did it. I found you. I found my pain therapist at the same time, basically. I was wonderful for my daughter's wedding, even though this bio sounded like, wow, this girl just, wow, <laughs> like she made it through this and look how happy I am. And so it wasn't pathetic when you put it in word, when you put my words there, I never expected that. I thought you would change it. I thought you would maybe, I kept telling you, I need to change it, give it back. <laughs> give it back. But now you have taught me, no, perfectly imperfect. And you have taught me, color a picture, don't crumple it up. This is your way. And I accept it now. I accept being perfectly imperfect. Oh, and I, just, I love that. I just, my family gets it. My, I get goosebumps because I, I they're so happy for me and, and they can tell. And, and yeah, that makes me happy. And going to the book signings makes me so happy. It is just like I'm in another world of happiness. It's just another realm type kind of. So thank you. Thank you. And, and I found this and everybody can do this. Really go get a skirt. You've got to get a little skirt, even a pixie skirt. Just get it so like you're at home. My husband works. My daughter's married. I'm at home. What am I going to do? So I've been flirting, flitting around in this skirt all morning, thinking, oh my goodness, all morning. <laughs> and it feels good on, and you should just do it. Have it there for you. Put it in your room so you can see the colors. I guarantee you will change. I guarantee. 
Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Thank you so much for your encouragement and the way that you're blazing a trail for other women to Thank you. connect with their magic. I cannot believe we are already at time. This went so fast and it was so good getting to talk to you about your experience. And I know that this will not be the last that anyone following Tears and Tool will see of Betsy because you are so involved in this project and in this movement. And I'm excited to see how you continue to grow. And I thank you so much for being here today. Oh, you're welcome. And, and I do feel very part of, uh, very much part of it. Um, it. The mental illness in my family, if this was back uh, 30 years ago and you were doing this, you never know what would have happened with, with that. So, but I've learned and I'm stronger. So thank you so much. Wow. Thank you for being a wonderful teacher and have a great day, Betsy. You too, Gina. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, Betsy, you just had a little quote that you wanted to share with us at the end of the show. And I would love to, to hear you share that wisdom with all of us. Okay, it is just, um, I found this this morning and it's just perfect. So it's um, only in my pain did I find my will. Only in my chaos did I learn to be still. Only in my fear did I find my might. Only in my darkness did I see my light. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a Thank great you. day. You too. Thank you.